is BBC Sorry. Listen to this. Hey, lady, forget all that. Meet the swinging, mixing, mincing, slicing, shredding Kenwood Chef. The Kenwood Chef can make a homemade soup. Woo! The Kenwood Chef can mince meat or fish. Woo! The Kenwood Chef can extract every drop of juice from an orange. Woo! The Kenwood Chef can slice cucumbers or shred cheese. Woo! Kenwood Chef can open a can, even a square one. The Kenwood Chef can peel potatoes. Woo! So, lady, what are you waiting for? Hey, lady, what are you waiting <laughs> lady. for, lady? Well, you know we're waiting. We're waiting for John Wood. Kenwood was the man behind the brand. Did you know that? Yeah, I only yesterday learned that. I had no idea. He started his electrical equipment firm in a small lock-up lock up in Goldsworth Road in 1947. This in Woking. Later on today, a blue plaque is going to be going up at Quickbit in the town to commemorate him. His stepson is John Wood. Uh, John, morning to you. Good morning. Great advert, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Take, takes you back. Um, what's it feel like having that plaque put up for Ken? Oh, absolutely wonderful. It's um, about time that he really got uh, the recognition he deserved for creating such a fantastic brand that's respected the world over. It's an amazing product because it, it really hasn't changed that much, has it? Uh, no, um, it, uh, it's developed over the years and evolved. Uh, the big step change was 1959-1960 uh, when uh, Sir Kenneth Grange uh, developed the, the chef and uh, gave it the, the iconic uh, look that it um, has today. Uh, they, I'm talking about the Kenwood chef itself, yeah. So, um, Kenwood, um, you know, how would he have felt about it, do you think, getting a blue flat? Oh, I think he'd be so chuffed. So, seriously, he'd be so proud. What was he like? He was a gentle giant. He was very uh, tough and, uh, you know, he ran a huge company, but he was also a softy. <laughs> he was a, fan, a wonderful man. He, he um, treated me like his own son and gave me a fantastic education. And um, it just was so, so uh, able to create this huge company from absolutely nothing in 1947. An unbelievable achievement. <clears throat> now, where, where it, he has had this small, small lock-up, you know, the whole thing grew and grew and grew, and he ended up with big factories, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. It started in 1947, and then uh, nearly two years later, it moved into Hitley Street. And then in 1962, moved down to Havant. It was um, the um, Woking's largest employer with 700 staff in um, about 1962. So um, actually, that's one of the things I'm really keen to uh, achieve out of this. Uh, there must be so many memories of Ken because he, he was a lovely employer. People loved him. He really cared about his staff. He used to go around every morning and talk to them and ask them about their baby and their grandma and so on. And there were never any unions. He didn't need unions. And so there must be so many people in Woking right now who actually work for Ken or their mother did or their grandma or, or grandfather or someone. And I'd love to hear those stories. And actually, I've set up a, a Facebook page called a facebook.com slash Kenneth Maynard Wood because his grandfather was Maynard of Maynard Winegum, by the way. Wow. Anyway. Well, we're loving him even more now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But anyway, Kenneth Maynard Wood is the actual Facebook page. And, and I'd love to hear any memories that people might have of, of the man, or photos even, or anything at all, stories about working for him, um, I'd love that, them to send them in. So is this for your autobiography you're actually working on? Oh yeah, he did uh, write a, an incomplete autobiography. Yeah, I have 50 pages of all sorts of wonderful stories of setting up the company in his early life and so on. He was in the Merchant Navy. And um, I, I would love to, yeah, of course, it's a really good idea actually. Any stories that come out of that could go in the book. Good point. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I'll be your agent, John. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, look, we've also got this uh, great Kenwood exhibition taking place at the Lightbox Gallery in Woking. A nice celebration. Okay. That's going on till the end of October. I take it yeah. you're going to be there for the, uh, the blue plaque unveiling, are you? Oh, absolutely, yes. Can't wait. So looking forward to that with the mayor. Oh, look too. at you. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> we're going to be down there hopefully getting some pictures and video of that. John, lovely oh, talking stuff. to you. Enjoy right, it later course. on. Thank and, you very uh, much. Fingers crossed that the weather actually holds out for you as well. BBC Sorry. Any memories of Ken Wood? Come on, share. 81333. Our text. Start with the word radio. Send us your message or tweet at BBC Sorry. Well, it wasn't until I started working uh, in this place that I, I, I learned that Ken Wood, mm -hmm. uh, as in uh, the famous uh, appliance maker, um, is actually local to us in Surrey. And you're running a feature on this. Well, yes, this is wonderful. Um, this was... 
Ken Wood, as you say, Kenneth Wood, and who started out, you'd think, well, did he have a factory, big factory somewhere? No, he had a tiny little shop in Goldsworth Road, and we have a picture of it. 1947 started in a very, very small way, and he developed and moved into slightly bigger premises in Old Woking, and the rest is history, really. He, he, he uh, developed the famous mixer, the chef, that, of course, a lot of people had. And so Woking Borough Council have recognised his contribution to the town by putting up a blue plaque um, at a, a, a famous chain store of uh, tyre manufacturers um, and there the plaque is recognising Kenneth Wood's contribution to the history of Woking. Wonderful and I think if we were of a certain generation Stuart every household of that certain generation would have the mincer Oh absolutely. <laughs> Probably yeah. lying disused on the back of a cupboard That's nowadays. right, in car boot sales that sort of thing. Hey lady, forget all that. Meet the swinging, mixing, mincing, slicing, shredding Kenwood Chef. The Kenwood Chef can make a homemade soup. Woo! The Kenwood Chef can mince meat or fish. Woo! The Kenwood Chef can extract every drop of juice from an orange. Woo! The Kenwood Chef can slice cucumbers or shred cheese. Woo! The Kenwood Chef can open a can, even a square one. Woo! The Kenwood Chef can peel potatoes. Woo! So, lady, what are you waiting for? Hey, lady. What am I waiting for? I love an advert with the words mincing. Yep. Yeah, um, and swinging. Uh, Kenwood's one of the most well-known kitchen brands. Did you know it was actually launched in Woking? You didn't up I until didn't yesterday. I didn't until yesterday. It was all news to me. Kenwood was the man behind the brand, started his electrical equipment firm from a small lock-up in Goldsworth Road in 1947. Later on today, a blue plaque is going to be going up at Quickfit in the town, which is the location of where that uh, place was. Earlier, we spoke to his stepson, John Wood. Oh, I think he'd be so chuffed. So, seriously, he'd be so proud. What was he like? He was a gentle giant. He was very uh, tough and uh, you know, he ran a huge company, but he was also a softie. Well, Brian in Woking called into the show earlier to tell us about his family connection to the company. Turnwood set up his um, business in uh, a shed in Old Woking, as far as I know, because uh, my late wife was the niece of Doris Smith, Kenwood's first secretary and PA, uh, weren't called PAs in those days, and was working for him until the business moved down to Haven. She never got married, but subsequently, a gentleman called Jim Porter, who was Kenwood's, uh, one of Kenwood's engineers, had married somebody else and obviously had a family and lived um, elsewhere. But when Jim Porter's wife died, uh, he and Doris met up for a reunion of some sort, got friendly, and eventually got married. And Doris, by this time, never having married before, was uh, around about 80 years old. So it was quite an event in the family. They had a celebration of the wedding at um, the Wheat Chief, um, on Wheat, uh, opposite Wheat Chief Common in Woking. Oh, lovely. Well, Len is in New Hall. You went for a job with Kenwood, didn't you, Len? Hello, Len. We've lost Len. We've lost Len. Uh, we'll try and get Len back. This is BBC Sorry. Shall we try again? Len's in Newhall. Hello, Len. Hello, mate. All right. Where were you then? Well, I got me porridge on and I had to go and turn it off. <laughs> so, so hang on. <laughs> oh, dear. So we came to you and you just weren't there. Yeah. Well, you know, you're making a sound about as professional as Joe Talbot does on Dig It. Yeah, well... It, it's 91, I've had a lot of experience. <laughs> <laughs> You're 91, Len? Yeah. Wow. Um, yes, well... And you went for a job with Kenwood, didn't that, you? That's right, yes. Um, I went, I, I was working in a small factory and got fed up. I went to see uh, Mr Wood, it was Wood Lord Industries then. It was Mr Wood and Mr Lord started the business. And I saw Mr Wood... And um, I'd previously um, been offered a job at nine pence an hour as a plumber's mate and uh, went to see Mr. Wood and he only, he said, I can only offer you seven pence an hour. <laughs> so I, I turned that down. He said, well, look, he said, don't, 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 don't rush away. He said, if, if the business goes well, he said, I'll, I'll take you into it. And that was the worst decision of my life. <laughs> Oh, no, because it could have been Len Wood. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, well, well, Woodley. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I went back to the other job and I, I never did get the nine pence. Oh, oh, no. oh, look, Len, I feel you've been robbed. <laughs> I it's ended terrible. up with seven months anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Len, enjoy. Look, I'm going to let you get to your porridge. Nice, <laughs> n- n- nice talking to you. Yeah, well, they're, they're a plant, I say, I've got one at least 50 years old, a mixer and uh, a juice of which I use every single day must be at least 30 years old. And what do you have? What's your juice? What, what do you have? Oh, you, you, just a couple of oranges every morning. There we go. Yeah, yeah. No. No. Well, it can't be doing you any, any harm if you're 91, blimey. Well, <laughs> oh, well, there we are. <laughs> nice stuff. Len, lovely talking yeah, to nice you. Yeah, nice talking to you. Enjoy yeah, your good day. Program. Nice Bye. stuff. Len's in Newhall. Uh, we love him. Uh, go and eat your porridge.